Hey, what's up everybody? So today we are talking about how to find off-market apartment leads fast and how to do it with less than a hundred bucks, okay? Uh, there's all kinds of ways to do it, but this way I believe is the cheapest, but it's also um, just as accurate in my opinion. Um, the goal by the end of this video is that you would literally be on the track to having a pipe filled with leads by the end of the week um, or three to five hours, okay? So let's talk about it. Uh, the, the goal here is cold calling. The fastest way to do this thing, the fastest way to generate a stream of deal flow and lead flow is gonna be cold calling. Um, and you know you can argue that we teach all types of methods um, to hack systems, to figure out ways to stream, uh, stream more leads in your in your business um and we teach that through a mastermind that we've created my partner and i um but this honestly is the nuts and bolts of something to get you going fast and efficient so um step number one is you got to make a commitment to this based off your time capacity okay so you got to figure out the direction you're going to head are you going to hire a va a virtual assistant um or are you going to do it yourself Either way is great. Um, I would expect three to five hours per week that you would need to put in consistently. Keyword there is consistently. If you can schedule three to five hours per week in cold calling, um, you will, again, generate that goal of a week, two weeks max um, of, po of, of a pocket full of leads. Um, or if you wanna hire a VA, it may take two to three hours a week. Um, either way, you choose. Uh, a lot of people would recommend doing cold calling yourself first before you hire it out, just so you understand the metrics, understand what you're handing off to a, a VA. A VA is per, just an employee. It's just like hiring an employee. It's just you get um, the options to use a lot cheaper um, rates. So step number two is you're going to pull a list um, and then you're going to skip trace the list. So, you know, again, if you want the most accurate data out there, you want more data. Um, you can use things like Reonomy. You're going to be paying a little bit more, but for, for what I do, I, I'm good with the way we do it, which we first go to listsource.com. Now, um, we're not going to do a full walkthrough of ListSource in this video. Um, we did just do a tr free training that we just released yesterday, actually. Um, if you want to check that out, we do a training about the entire process of buying apartments from finding them to funding them to setting up everything to streamlining them. Um, and, and so if you want to watch that, check it out. I put the link in the description. Um, but listsource.com, you can Google it if you don't know how. If you really want our personal help to jump in, just message us. But otherwise, just go to YouTube and, and see how to pull lists from ListSource. You're basically just putting in the type of property you want, um, which is apartments. We have, you know, we're, our goal is like 30 plus units, but sometimes for the sake of these lists, I may pull like 10 plus units. Um, and, and, and then you want to put your geographic location, you know, we'll put cities. Uh, we're looking at Georgia, Florida, Alabama. And, uh, and, and so then what you do is you run that list. You may have just say three or 400 hits um, out of that, or not hits, you'll have three or 400 leads. Um, and then that may cost you 40 bucks in list source. And then you go to skip trace that list. You take that list and you put it in what's called leadsherpa.com. And I'll put these links down there so you can check them out. Um, but leadsherpa.com, you take the list, you plug it in there, and it will skip trace the whole thing for you. So what that means is it'll take the property and it'll try to go through public data and figure out any names or phone numbers associated with that property so you can potentially uh, reach out to the owner. Now it gets sticky and that's why, you know, I'll mention a little later, but out of 100 dials, you may get 10 to 20 leads um, and, and half of them may not even be existing numbers because it's all just, uh, you know, trying to sort through public data. Like, uh, you know, my LLCs that holds my real estate, you know, we have a registered agent that is the attorney that, that put our stuff together. And so, um, 
you know, you, you're not gonna find my name or my phone number on our properties. Um, but anyway, so that's the first step right there. You pull your list. So you went to listsource.com, you got your apartments, and then you skip trace it to find the owners and find their phone numbers. So that's step number one. Step number two, technically three, but um, you're gonna use a cold calling script, all right? So I would recommend finding a cold calling script from another you know, organization. Like you could go on Google, you could go find it somewhere. We offer them as well, in fact, in the training we just did, you can't, if you watch that, we offer a free cold calling script at the end of the video if you watch it. Um, so check that out. If that helps you, great. Otherwise, you know, if you want to build it yourself, the main premise is you're just talking to sellers as a local investor and you're saying, hey, um, we, we're, we're just out here trying to connect with people um, and see if you'd like to entertain an offer on your property. Okay, I generally say it like that because it doesn't sell, sound very salesy. I introduce, I'm a local investor because people don't really want to hear from agents as much. Um, and uh, and sometimes they say, no, I'm not interested at all. I say, well, would you be interested in buying? We have investors we're connected to and love to partner with you if you find a deal and need some extra funds or maybe if we find a deal, we can let you know. I, I'm really relational Focus, and I would advise you to do the same thing because in the end, what you want to do is build your your database, your CRM, your your network. You your net worth is is determined by your network. You know, you it's it's all about building relationships because if you steward those relationships, you're going to have it's going to be pouring in like a waterfall. Um, the more you do it, consistency. Remember the beginning, I said consistency, consistency, consistency. That's the key. Um, and, and so you can find these um, VAs. Let's talk about VAs for a second because um, one easy way to find a VA, a virtual assistant that'll help cold call for you is just going to upwork.com. There's several other out there, <clears throat> others out there, but I don't think you need to give, you could also get caught up in trying to figure out the best place to go find a VA, I would just go to upwork.com and look for a cold calling VA, someone who's experienced in real estate or cold calling. Um, they're out there and you can get them for about four or five bucks an hour. Um, and you know, you can find them maybe in South America, Philippines, India. Um, and that's why you can get them for a much lower rate because yeah, th that's a great price over there. That's a great wage over there. Um, but if you have no, no VA, that's what I do. I cold call myself um, because I get more than enough leads just from that, more than I can handle, more than I can have time to underwrite. Um, and so you can normally hit about three to 30 to 50 per hour. So just to get you an understanding of what to expect. Like whenever you sit down, hit, hit your timer, you know, say, I'm going to be consistent for an entire hour. I'm going to focus. You know, you can hit about 30 to 50 depending on, you know, if you strike up a big conversation with uh, a, a seller and, and you start to, you know, hit it off with somebody and you just talk for a while about the market or whatever, you know, um, I would imagine 30 to 50 an hour. Um, and then, and, and this is again, people would recommend that you do cold calling yourself first before you hit it off to a VA. Why? Because you need to know what to expect when handing it off to a virtual assistant. Um, you need to know what kind of metrics should they expect. Should, uh, my VA should be calling this many people and I should get an email with this many leads at the end of the day or at the end of the week. You know, And if they're not doing this, this part, then I'm not gonna get this part. And if I'm not getting this part, they're not doing that part. So, um, and out of $100, like I mentioned earlier, out of $100, you should expect 10 to 20 leads okay um, again some of those may be wrong numbers uh, but you know some of those may be not want to sell hate that you're called you know you may get cussed out or whatever but there may be a, a few about 10 to 20 i would expect and then last step we finally made it to the last step get ready to underwrite deals okay within an hour you can have your list pulled you can have property skip trace you, you can have scripts ready and you can be on the phone with sellers, okay? 
Now, if you want that VA, it may take a little bit longer in the forefront because you gotta get them you know, adjusted. Um, but within three to five hours, listen to this, within three to five hours of solid cold calling, I guarantee you have several motivated sellers. Now, people may argue with me about that, but that's what I believe, and that's been my personal experience. You know, um, <clears throat> you know, my personal experience has been literally overwhelmed with deals just out of after like three to five hours of, of uh, cold calling. So, um, and then lastly, you, you just need to start underwriting and submitting LOI. So in our mastermind, we all aim to submit five LOIs, which is letter of intent per week or offers, same as offers. So whether that's to the broker, whether that's to, um, which these would be off market, but you know, you, you may be talking to brokers too. You may be talking all kinds of stuff. And I would just aim to submit five LOIs per week. If you want to drum up, um, deals fast. Okay. Um, and if you need additional help with this, I drop a link in the, in the description below, check it out. Let us know what you think. Um, we are excited. This is, um, a really fun game if you get into it. Um, it's a little bit intimidating because you, because if you're new to it, because there's so much you got to learn, it's a whole nother world. But the more you do it, the more exciting it, it becomes, the easier it becomes, and uh, the more profitable it becomes. So, hope this helps. Hope this provided tons of value. Let us know if there's anything else we could help you with, um, or if this video was valuable, maybe there's something else you'd like for us to make a video on, and we'd love to do that. All right, y'all have a blessed day, and uh, see you soon.